Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Katamari Forever. I'm Dylan, your host, and just a few minutes ago I finished recording the Medium Just Right episode and I'm going to jump right back in because I feel like it's just the right time to do Large Just Right. Might as well knock both of these out back to back since I'm already in a Just Right sort of mood. So yeah, let's go ahead and do Large Just Right. Now I apologize if I sound a little bit sleepy on this in the, the last recording. I feel like my commentary has not been particularly enthralling. And the reason for that is that I'm currently in the midst of the holidays. I'm recording this between Christmas and New Year's and I've sort of been doing things with friends who are in from out of town nonstop, day after day, and haven't been getting a lot of sleep or a lot of time to myself, so I'm a little bit exhausted right now, but there is never a bad time to be playing Katamari. Feels good to me. Feels just right, actually. So I'm going to be recording some regardless. Hopefully they're not too bad. I don't foresee any complaints, but if I'm boring you, I do apologize. And, uh, well, maybe these stages are boring you too. I don't know. I, I care. I do care for the just right stages. I think they're fun and add a little bit of variety to the game. Not, not that um, Katamari Forever is particularly lacking in variety. It does a good job of mixing things up, but in any case, they are not the most exciting stages, especially with this grayscale King's Cosmos memory filter applied, but we're going to do our best to stay awake as we do large just right here. And how large are we? Well, we're trying to get up to 50 meters. So yeah, I'm doing this stage a little bit out of order. I mean, we unlocked it quite a while ago, actually, because I think it's based on the number of cousins and presents you found. But if you look at our size compared to the size we've been in previous stages, there is a world of a difference. If you've never played a Katamari game before, you might actually be a little bit shocked by how large we are right now. We're bigger than buildings, we're bigger than boats, and we're doing things on a, a very global scale right now that's completely unlike all of the stages that have come before. I mean, just look at us. Watch as I, I, I prince hop, I shake the very world beneath our feet. And we're going to be seeing a lot of interesting things as we roll around on this stage. A lot of a lot of large landmarks and things. But before we go too far, you may have already seen a cousin running around. And it's one of the reasons I want to do this stage so early. I quite like this cousin. This is the princess. A, uh, a character who sounds like she belongs in the main family, but who was not introduced until uh, beautiful Katamari. She was not in either of the original two PlayStation 2 games introduced later in Beautiful Katamari on the Xbox, and reintroduced here in Katamari Forever. Yep, one of my favorite cousins. She basically looks uh, like the prince, but with a uh, longer torso that's sort of like dress-shaped and with the queen's color palette. And that's a nice person to have on the team. And like the other Just Right stages, there's not only a cousin to be found, but also a royal present. But we've got a long distance to cover before we can find that. This is a huge stage, particularly compared to the other Just Right stages. So I'm just going to follow the water line here. Because as I recall, the present is underwater. <laughs> Though um, there's an arrow pointing to it. Well, actually, I don't think it's, it's underwater. I believe it's under a bridge. But it's not easy to see from the land. So I'm going to stick to the coastline here, follow it around. Plenty of time to waste, there being no time limit on this stage, so I can freely just explore the coastline here, looking for that bridge. We don't want to get so big that we won't be able to sneak under the bridge to grab it. <laughs> Fumin looking a little bit tired there, so I'll have to lay off the quick roll for a little while. There's a heart up there. I think since we're so small, it won't do any harm to go ahead and gra grab that now but I'm just going to continue following the coastline. Oh, we appear to have hit the edge of the stage. This is not the bridge we're looking for, but it may not be far from here. I'm not sure. I guess I'll follow. Ah, here we are. Yeah, so there are a bunch of anchors here sitting in the bay, pointing to the royal present beneath this bridge, and there it is. So, with the princess and the royal present under our belt, we have nothing left to do but roll around and attempt to get up to 50 meters, if at all possible. And we're doing that surrounded by Maui heads, by um, some very eastern looking castles, lots of interesting l large things here. And I think we may have just rolled up the town from the original Katamari here. 
Um, I saw, yeah, the, the trademark giant turn up there. If not the town itself, certainly an homage. Yeah, I don't think it was the exact town because there weren't the large windmills. Though we are rolling up specific residences with specific family names associated with them, so I'm guessing this area is meant to be based on one of the earlier games. But no matter, we're going to roll up here and get some cars and things while looking for larger objects that'll help us get up to 50 meters. And, well, I appear to have rolled up some stretches of road, so we must be getting quite large at this point. And <laughs> not that I can't simply see that we're quite large, but it's kind of hard to tell at this scale just how large you are. Well, <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, which I'm pretty sure is not out on the water like this in our world, is a good judge. And so, looking at that, I think maybe, hmm, I want to get a little bit bigger. I don't feel great about this Katamari yet. I think we can go larger and still not exceed 50 by too much. Just grab a few more things, that lighthouse, grab these towers there, and okay, now, now I'm pretty certain we've exceeded 50 meters, so let's call it right there. Let's head on back to space aboard the Royal Rainbow! Let's find out just how close to 50 meters we got with this Katamari. So yeah, I was thinking that that being such a large stage, it would take us longer than it did to get a uh, sufficiently large Katamari. But no, like the other Just Right stages, this one, this one went by in kind of a flash. Well, let's see how we did. 52 meters, 52 centimeters, 4 millimeters, that seemed very close. Far from perfect, the king says, but I feel good about that. That seems like a very good attempt. I don't know. Mostly plants, also houses, and some work vehicles along the way. What's our score? 64 points. Huh, I would think that 52-52 would be a better score than that, but I guess not. And, well, there's our royal present. <laughs> Looks like a chicken, but um, it's a mask, which varies in appearance from cousin to cousin. We'll be looking at some variations on that later, I'm sure. And this gum here is the princess. Welcome to the team, princess. She's one of the cousins who always has hair, even when she's not wearing a wig. It's another one of her unique features. 64 point plant Saturn. All right. Or sa Saturn or satellite. I, I thought I said Saturn, but I think that that's not the Saturn stage, is it? It probably said satellite. Anyway, where's the princess? I see her. <laughs> I, I just kicked her over. All right, let's grab this cousin. Looking good in the scarf and the flower head. And, uh, oh yeah, we might as well, while we're here, get the royal present that we just obtained as well. Right in here. And it is the mask. <laughs> yeah, that is an elegant looking mask. I quite like hers. Yeah, I wonder if every cousin has a different mask. That could be the case, because I know I've seen several of them. It must be one of the most varied of the royal presents. In any case, I'm liking this mask, I'm liking this scarf, so we'll keep equipped that way. And we've still got some time remaining, so what the heck, might as well roll it again. Let's head on back to large just right. See if we can get a little bit closer this time, though my luck with these repeat attempts has not been good as of late. My medium just right second attempt was much worse than the first. This time, we're going to be trying to get a little smaller than we did last time. If I try to remember, the last object we rolled up was that castle, so maybe we want to get to a point where we can roll that up, but then we don't roll it up? That might be the way to go? Not sure. Gonna start out rolling around here, back where we found the princess last time in this little city. This, um, I suppose French city, given that it has the Arc de Triomphe going through it, but who knows? This, this stage is kind of a geographic mashup. We've got things from all over the world sort of crowded into this one little region. Yeah, and like, here's the Colosseum, which appears to be hosting a fight between a pair of Loch Ness monsters, most likely over 350. I wonder which one of them lost it. And we're gonna jump over here <laughs> and, and just sort of bounce off the cliff. That's no good. Roll up some petroleum tanks there that we somehow missed last time. We missed these chimneys last time, too. I can tell because the name of the object is in uh, rainbow characters, meaning that we've not gotten it before. So I guess we sort of skipped over this area last time, which makes sense, considering I was sticking to the coastline until I found the royal present. <laughs> An elephant? 
wearing a crown just fell on us out of nowhere. Not sure why that happened, but I'm pretty okay with it. Always happy to have an elephant on board, particularly when we haven't yet reached our 50 meter goal. Nope, we are still long from 50 meters. Gonna roll across the countryside here, terrorizing some Dutch windmills and buildings and things. Get these trees as well. You may remember in the North Star stage, I liked to use the trees there as sort of a landmark when I reached the correct size, but on this stage we're getting much larger than any tree, getting all the way up to 50 meters. Yeah, this is the, the castle I was talking about, this one right here on our left. Last time I believe that was one of the last objects I rolled up, probably the largest object I rolled up. So we're gonna try to get large enough to roll that up and then not roll it up, or get like just short of large enough to roll it up and that should be a good indicator that we've reached the right size. Maybe we can roll this castle here up though, because that one appears much smaller. However, it is still currently outside of our reach, so let's get a little bit bigger first. Roll up this railroad. What was that? <laughs> there is something in the sky. It looks like another Loch Ness monster, but flying around on a balloon. So let's grab that. And I just noticed this gigantic T-Rex right next to us. Kinda hard to spot him when he's the same color as the landscape. <laughs> We'll roll off his head and try to get a few more things on our pursuit of 50 meters. Some more hot air balloons, and yeah, here's this castle. Still not large enough to pick it up. I wonder if it extends underground, and that's the reason, because it appears to me that we should be large enough by now. <coughs> Excuse me there. Let's see, are we large enough now? <laughs> Use the hop up there. Overshot it a little bit, but... Hmm, nope, still not large enough to roll that castle up, and I'll go ahead and- Oh, we were large enough to roll that up. How is that? That one up on the hill looks so much smaller. In any case, we've reached our milestone, so I'm gonna call it right now and hope that we're about 50 meters at this point. I think we may have done better than last time, but who knows. Royal Rainbow! I'll tell you who knows. The King of All Cosmos knows. Only he is able to tell the true size of a just right Katamari. That information is kept from us until we talk to him. How large is it? Will it be 50 meters? Let's see. Ooh, yeah, 51 meters, 54 centimeters. We did nearly 50% better. Um, oh, well, we reduced the deficit by roughly 50%. So I'm guessing that this score will be significantly higher. 419 objects in all, <laughs> mostly famous places. What'd we get? Yeah, 74 points. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That is how we roll. 74 points out of 100, actually sort of out of 120. We're gonna make a star, and in indeed it is Saturn. Okay. Once again, a plant Saturn, though we're replacing Fumin's face with the princesses. And a 64 point score with a 74 point score. Let's do it. Plant Saturn, welcome to the sky. And once again, a little bit of a short episode. That's what happens when you roll the just right stages and when you only do one star per episode. But I think we'll have a little bit longer one on our hands. Most of the stages remaining are a little bit more of a commitment. So look forward to one of those next time. Looks like we've got a sparkle over here. In fact, let's go ahead. Let, let's see what's happening next time. Next time on the Robo King's Cosmos, we'll have the choice of make a star danger, make a star race, or, eh. I lost it, had it. Make a star five, Mercury. So look forward to that next time. Thanks for watching and I will see you then.